Hyundai is back in the Philippines and for today, they're flying us to Cebu to drive the Creta and Stargazer. We started our day with a quick 45 minute flight from Manila to Cebu. Upon arrival, we were welcomed by what could probably be the best airport in the Philippines. We then headed to Hyundai Cebu South's dealership for a briefing before heading out for the drive. Our route involves driving Hyundai Cebu South to a Shell station in Naga Cebu, through Twisties from there to Toledo City, more twisties to our lunch stop in Lake Ville Hardin, back in the outskirts of Cebu City, and through the iconic CC Lex before heading to our hotel. So join us on this drive. Our first driver is Kai Leong of Auto PH, Automark.ph, and Calion Cars. So now we're driving the Hyundai Creta, the top-of-the-line variant, and I am the luckiest among everyone here. So I'm with Kyle Leong, Pablo Salapantan of Yuga Tech and Yuga Auto, and also Kelvin Go, also of Yuga Tech and Yuga Auto. So guys, can you please show yourself to our Hello. viewers? Hi! So, are you having fun? I'm having lots of fun with Julian's driving. Yes, yeah, so, because I'm actually really liking how the Hyundai Creta drives here, so... Every time we want to do an overtake, every time, everything we want to do with this car actually feels really, really good, which is something that really surprised everyone here. So first, let's talk about the engine. I believe this is powered by a 1.5 liter, naturally aspirated engine that produces around 115 horsepower. I'm just not sure about the torque, but I'll just put it here in the video. And then this is paired to a CVT or what they call an intelligent variable transmission. And let's talk about that first. So that CVT is actually really intelligent so when they call it intelligent they really made sure it is because it shifts it actually has fake shifts which feel really which feel like a real automatic transmission so it's not like what you get from other car brands that it just feels really fake this one feels real and then whenever you want to do those overtakes it gives you plenty of power it has a very good power delivery which was another surprise so basically in terms of acceleration in terms of everything related to the engine this is really really good and then another good thing to mention is how the steering feels in this vehicle because of course as you expect from a small crossover like this it actually is really light but at the same time once you speed up it does have some weight to it which really feels nice because it's very direct it doesn't have much plate everything that you do every input that you give to this vehicle, it will, act, it will actually respond to you very well. The same goes with how this vehicle handles, body roll is very minimal, it's just really good. Then anyway, let's move on to road noise and uh, NVH insulation. So when it comes to road noise, we do have a decent amount, uh, somewhat of a uh, plenty road noise coming in at around 40, 50 kilometers per hour when you're driving inside the city and on rather rough roads. But when you are driving pretty fast it is there but it doesn't bother you at all and then when it comes to vibration harshness everything is really good as well just like everything else that we talked about 